One of the biggest drivers of global climate is the Pacific Ocean. The reason for that is because the Pacific Ocean is really enormous. And this means that what happens over the Pacific Ocean has really important implications for things that happen many other places in the world. Just north of Australia, over the Indo-Pacific warm pool, air rises. Then the air flows uh, eastward, high up in the atmosphere. It cools and sinks over the eastern equatorial Pacific. And then the air flows back along the surface. So forming this big, this big loop of air that we call the Pacific Walker Circulation. It's the atmospheric component of the El Nino Southern Oscillation. It's what gives us El Nino events and La Nina events. This loop of air, it doesn't always flow at the same speed. Uh, so if it slows down a little bit, so the flow can be a little bit, a little bit slower or weaker, that's what we associate with El Nino-like conditions. So if you think of how an El Nino event is experienced in Australia, it tends to be drier and hotter. Generally, at this point, there will be a slower or weaker walker circulation. Um, and then the opposite is true as well. So when the walker circulation is stronger or a bit faster, um, this is La Nina-like conditions, which we typically associate with wetter weather. Um, and, and cooler weather as well in Eastern Australia. And so that sort of touches on why it's really important to understand the walker circulation. Um, it has really big implications for how we experience weather and climate in Australia, and not just Australia, across a lot of the world. So um, the Southwestern US, for example, is very affected by the walker circulation, parts of South America. It's a really, really important part of the global climate system.